Sweet. Sweet. So welcome to December 21st. Let me know if the uh, audio is too low or too high for you, sir. No, it's perfect. Perfect. Oh, got the... jazzed by this music. Yeah. There's not a lot of music in the entire game, but for whatever reason... They put all their budget right in the opening. They we don't expect people to make it very far, so let's put it all... Ooh. Man, I had this dream once. This is <laughs> giving me some weird flashbacks. Yeah. Right? Hey, let's be... So, <clears throat> did you... You said you were going to quote-unquote, do some research. Did you actually look up anything about this game at all? I, I did. I put in a solid 30 minutes of watching somebody else do this. Oh, so you know what we're already... You already know what we're doing. Um, I kind of jumped around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was like a five-hour video, and I watched oh, 30 minutes of it. Five hours? I mean, we, I pared mine down to just over two. So. Oh, man. And that <laughs> includes all the extras that you'll get to see if you wait till the very end, viewers out there in the, <laughs> the UV viewers? land. That such an iconic disguise. Beautiful. Oh, hard cut. Yeah, no, they for whatever reason they didn't make the the song long enough. Okay. <laughs> so, or the opening it's long, I guess. Turn the background. I feel like that's going to be coming up later. I feel like aliens, and I feel like that's going to come up later. But aliens over on the right there. Yeah. Oh, uh, who knows? I don't know. Spoilers. Spoilers. So, uh, for people wondering. Including yourself, sir, Papa yeah. Spicy. Uh, the uh, icons over on the far right of the screen are a progress tracker. It's uh, something new I'm trying out. Uh, oh, so that's not included in the game. No, I added that. That's sweet. Well, that stuff will get filled in with uh, all of our... <clears throat> I, I hope somebody out there is not trying to read what's going on at the top. So we're just talking over them. Blah, 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 blah. Listen, if they really want to read it, they'll just mute the audio. Because <laughs> it's not like the game is voice I have, a, I have a feeling with a lot of your videos, people are trying to mute the <laughs> audio. <laughs> I, I mean, feel like there's... This might be the one situation where people unmute the audio. Because they... Well, I mean, we'll see. Oh, that's uh, sweet. Yeah. It's got the, the classic 80s cat clock thing. Yep. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah, so this is Zack McCracken and the Alien Mindbenders, one of the longest video game titles there is. Uh, and it's classic adventure style, point and click, we gotta pick up some stuff, we're gonna take our pet fish. His name is Sushi. Yes, it is. That's... it's perfect. Yeah. That's our phone bill. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm uh, not gonna I'm, point out everything we do. You're... you've... You've played this game quite a bit, correct? I yes. <laughs> yes. So you, this is not like this is you're not not knowing what you're doing. Like you have a good idea. Of oh what yeah, to no. Do. Yeah, this is to, this is totally streamlined for viewing this, pleasure. This is amazing. <clears throat> We're not going to be wandering around like chumps. Oh yeah. Ed, you're so good at this game already. <laughs> so to give you a little bit of reference, I don't know if you actually know this for the entire times we've been friends. I grew up without any game systems at all. Um, I until I was it. fourteen. I don't think I knew it. Um, what was your first system? A PS2 that my very wealthy uncle, which is a very strange story in itself, a very wealthy uncle that is like very eccentric, escaped from Romania and blah blah blah, <laughs> lived here <laughs> illegally for many many many. We'll leave years. that on the podcast uh, for next time. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's here totally legally now. Okay, he just had to <laughs> live legally for a little bit. Um, anyways, he um, he bought. Me and my brother, our first PS2, huh. and then proceeded to, we didn't know games, so we proceeded to buy the cheapest yeah. games, like, more games for our value, which, oh, uh, that's not how games six work. Six and one, ten and one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, my video game, like, this is awesome. This is, this is me <laughs> excited. Oh, no, cut away. Ooh, there's a secret room? So, oh, what's yeah. What's going on here? What's going on here? This, my friend, is a little scene where we cut away from the rest of the action to go to a different scene somewhere else. Uh, and they call it a cutscene. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I haven't played video games, but I am a man of the world. I love the reference to Indiana Jones, because it's a Lucasfilms thing, like cross-promotion, why yeah, not? This is, that's actually a reference to the Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade video game, uh, which our, our viewers, if they've been watching, will have seen earlier in the month, because I've already uploaded that. Well, I haven't. Because I, timelines, yes. Blah, blah, blah. It'll be up on the site by the time you're watching this. That's cool. That's cool. So, I love how the aliens still have to wear a task to work. <laughs> <laughs> so you, that's how you can tell them apart. Yeah. Because I'm a business alien. <laughs> I wear the yellow tie. I wear the blue tie. Speaking of which, for the day that we're recording this, it's the day after their raid on Area 51. 
which didn't happen. I don't know if you followed that, and that was a thing. That's a thing? No. Yeah, I mean... like, over a million, I think it was like two or five million people, I don't know, uh, signed up on this Facebook group <laughs> of, let's raid Area 51, they can't stop us all. And I think 75 people showed up, one got arrested um, <laughs> for public <laughs> urination. <laughs> and there was no raid. Uh, of course not. Because... Where did they actually go? Area 51. Is it a real place? Yeah, it's a real place, yeah. Um, But the best part of the whole thing is that I just love that just in true Facebook fashion, millions of people said they were, quote unquote, going, but never showed up. So (laughs) maybe we'll get some more information about aliens um, through this video game. So, yeah. Well, I don't know. So if you're watching, the the big-headed aliens, they have big, weird heads. Yes. Uh, we'll see it as we go on, but they have to wear like the hats and the Groucho Marx glasses to fit into quote unquote fit into society. That's true. But uh, this TV broadcast here is our first big uh, exposition dump. Actually, um, there are teens on Mars. I don't know how closely you were paying attention. I was talking. <laughs> there are teens on Mars that are there waiting for quote unquote instructions from someone else, and uh, there was a lady looking for artifacts. And she lives on the next street over, which is incredibly convenient. That's, I mean, let's, let's go. Well, our first assignment, the boss told us to look for a two-headed squirrel in Seattle. Okay, makes sense. So that's, that's step one. I mean, we gotta, listen, we gotta do what the boss says first. I, I feel you. <laughs> also, we apparently have to look away from the TV when it's on. I just, I just positioned him that way. Yeah. If people want a real good look at the Zack sprite, this is what he looks like. I feel like it might have already been done, but I always thought a movie where um, the main character is actually played in a video game and has to do all the real video game stuff, like they glitch, and then when they walk into a wall, they keep walking without turning the doorknob until they're like perfectly placed in front of it. I think that'd be funny. You mean like the new Jumanji? Sure. I haven't watched any of the Jumanji movies. <laughs> Me neither, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, that Dwayne Rock Johnson looks exactly like our host Daryl. Yeah, spinning I mean, image. I mean, the before, the the kid who turns into Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> look more like him. Oh. Anyways, so uh, yeah, this is we're we're talking. There's there's stuff is going on with the phone company. Blah blah blah. There's a worldwide stupidity epidemic. Apparently the phone lines are responsible for that. Don't pick up the phone. We don't. Ah, of course you go to the fridge. Yeah, gotta get all our food. Oh. <laughs> our single oh. egg. Ah. It's on my keto diet. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little yeah. key for our... That, that little key is for our mailbox. It's just a little side puzzle. Nice. If you, you have a mailbox outside that you can send and receive mail through, but uh, you uh, you have to unlock it every time you use it. Oh, and also our cash card. The plastic card under the desk. We have to use an object on it to pull it out because it slid under the desk. Nice. And we get $12,000! Woo! Which is a lot of dollars back now. Where Where is this taking place? Uh, we are in San Francisco. Oh, okay. But this is actually an interesting. I don't. Know, if I think it's interesting because you get to go all over the globe, actually. Oh, very cool. Uh, Does sushi the fish bowl come with you? No, we're gonna put him in this lamp here. Just. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, because we need the we need the empty fish bowl for something later, but we don't want to. You know, the fish has got to have a home, so he's gonna go in the bowl shaped lamp, and everything's cool. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh, forgot. There's something under here we have to get to. I I know that the first. The very first thing I do whenever I'm like, I gotta clean my fish bowl, I gotta put my fish somewhere. <laughs> I'm not like lamp. a bowl from the kitchen. Lamp. Yeah. Cool. And I turn it on and watch them slowly become. Yeah. Oh, and we use the crayon that we just got on the wallpaper that we tore off the wall to draw the map from our dream. Okay. Nice. Done. Yeah. It's actually a map of ancient uh, Earth. Or Earth. What's okay. the, the planet we live on? It's called Earth. Thank you. Yeah, um, I, <laughs> I'm not an idiot. I, I I haven't picked up the phone recently, so that's why I haven't been affected with the stupid. Yeah. Me, I'm not so good. But like all good people, we have to walk outside at some point. Ooh. So 
there's a mailbox we're going to completely ignore. Bye, mailbox. I'm going to go bother the baker. Yeah. What What is your go-to at the bakery? What is your number one thing? You go, like, you're walking in. Gosh, I don't go to bakeries very much. Oh, I love bakeries. Most of the times if I'm going to a bakery, it's probably for, like, I got to pick up... Is that uh, a fresh bread? I'll take the Dale's. I got, like, if, it, if it's me, it's probably for work, and I got to pick up, like, uh, bars, because we're hosting right. somebody, so we'll, I'll pick up, like, <sighs> some lemon bars or whatever. This guy's getting sick of us ringing his doorbell. I'm a, I'm a big fan of that tart with all the fruit on top and then the weird gelatin glaze. Oh, yeah. So, that's some real old bread. Yeah. Down to the sidewalk. Yeah. You use that as a weapon. Uh... You can. <laughs> uh, this guy looks mighty suspicious. He sure does. Yeah, the phone company. Yeah, this is this. That sounds like a phony company if I ever heard yeah. one. <laughs> so we're gonna pick up that thing. I don't trust anybody in a cowboy hat to start with. Um, I mean, in this day. Except me. Cowboy hats. That's yes. You're the only one. I mean, I try not to wear the hat too much scares people, but... You have the actual hat? <laughs> When's your birthday again? Uh, never. <clears throat> Alright. Anyways, 14th end. Ooh. Let's go to the shady loan place. Yeah. Now that we got some sweet amounts of money. Let's go get more. <laughs> Actually, we are. We're gonna sell something. Oh, there's Lou. Oh, Lou's gotta lose a little bit of weight. He's got a hefty punch. Yeah. She, that doesn't look like it's weight related. That looks like a medical issue. That's if a dad bod had a dad bod. Yes. That would be that. So we're going to sell him. We actually bent our butter knife in the floorboards. We're going to sell him that. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Yep. Totally makes sense. Uh, and he gives us a... Wow. He's excited about this. Yeah, silver, silver sculpture, he says. Uh, <laughs> and he's going to give us... <laughs> he's not going to make a bunch of money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Under that I'm look, you can buy yourself a here. How much is he going to give us? He gives us a lot of money. He gives us a further uh, $1,500. Out of all the things that you could buy on the screen, what would you actually want in your Well, house? check that out there. There's a Maniac Mansion poster. Yep. That's another game by LucasArts. Makes sense. There's uh, a coffee cup on the floor. It's actually probably one of the more popular games. But we are not going to buy the poster. We're going to buy the wetsuit. Ah. There's a katana right down at the bottom right. Uh, that is a golf club. Ah. Oh, oh. I see. I thought it was But we are going to buy a golf club. Okay. <laughs> There's a hat, and then there was also where it says "look" to the right. There, it was like the, yeah. the fake, fake glasses. Yeah, good game design. They're yeah. indicating their important items. Yeah, but we're gonna buy the toolkit. We're gonna buy a bunch of things in here. So, uh, it is like because we are flying around the globe, we have to use money for plane tickets. So you can right. run short on cash at some points. So yeah. selling the bent butter knife is a way to get additional cash. Nice. Um, I don't want to get too deep into like the unwinnable situations, but you can run out of cash and be stranded somewhere. Yeah. So. Oof. Sure hope that doesn't happen to us today. Uh, not till we get to the extras at the end of the video. <laughs> <sighs> so yeah, because because there's so much to do here in San Francisco, it's kind of slow start. I just feel like buying stuff. I just want to yeah. go shopping a lot before I fly to. Seattle looking for a two-headed squirrel. I mean, the option is always to edit into a super sexy montage with, like, a cool 80s beat. Because the girls just want to have fun. <laughs> yeah, I the nice know, thing about the there not one. being any in-game music is that we could put... Uh, I didn't have music over top. Yeah, as long as, you know, I don't monetize the video, I probably won't get in trouble for copyright. Right, yay. Or you just gotta have, like, the appropriate... <laughs> it was a great show called uh, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt where they did like a whole bit on that where they had like not co like not copyright but very close music and there was like an album that she oh. <laughs> was a very big fan of oh yeah it was there's also like free to use or fair use music that you can get ah, I like the thing that's just really close from the from the, the real bit <laughs> <laughs> just always sounds a little off and you're just always uncomfortable. This is definitely supposed to be Eye of the Tiger, but it's definitely not Eye of the Tiger. 
I have the lion. <laughs> oh, the, the nose of the lion. <laughs> it's, it's the tail of the lion. Anyways. Uh, and this next door here, this is yeah. the Society for Artificial what is it? Ancient Wisdom Deposit, blah, blah, blah. So this is where that lady that was on the TV is. Sweet. So if we get an artifact in our travels, we can drop it here. Good to know. This is a hair salon that is closed permanently. Oh, that's what's making that noise. Yep. I was like, Bob E. Pitts. Yeah. Does this got like an unlimited like uh, hold ability? Yeah, you have yeah. your infinite inventory. Nice. So we're gonna use these wire cutters that were in the toolbox, and we're gonna take the bobby pin sign. Okay. Because you know you always want to. You see yeah. an oversized bobby pin, you just want to take that with you. I I have mine on me with right now. Of course. So, yeah. Do you need anything done with it? <coughs> maybe, maybe after we're done recording. Maybe fixing a comically large small electrical unit. Um, yeah, with my comically large bobby pin. Maybe I could uh, tie back your hair <laughs> if I had any. So we are going to make use of these items that we yeah. got in the uh, the other shop there. Whoa, is that an alien on the screen? Oh my goodness! Guys? Oh no, aliens! Oh, okay. you guys look the same. Yep. Yeah. So we can scooch in here, and he's not going to stop us because he thinks we're one of him. Ah. And because we are cheap. And we need all the money we can get. We are going to give him our phone bill. Yep. And he's just going to wipe it clean for us. Nice. So it was, if you noticed, it was like an $1,100 phone bill. Oof. Because uh, we were calling, I don't know. It said on the screen, what are you calling Mars? Uh. <laughs> either, it, either it did or it does later. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, a secret back door room. Yep. Oh, and this is a weird thing with this. If you open the, the counter door... But then, like, leave and it's still open. It thinks it's closed, so you have to open it, even if it's open, which is weird. But anyways, we can go back here, and that takes us to uh, this room, nice. which is Deep where party. the uh, which is where we saw in the cutscene. Nice. With the indie poster and the, this big the switch. The only options are on and also yeah. on. <laughs> this this uh. This machine is the. This it's what's making everyone stupid. Uh oh, he's on uh -oh. to us. Oh no, he remembers that we are aliens, so he's not concerned. Right. And this big machine over here. This is the. Uh, this is actually the alien mind bender. Nice. We throw people in here, and it's like a jail. Well, we don't. The aliens throw people in here, and it's like a jail, and it makes them stupid. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sweet map. Giant map of the world. Yep. Map. It's a map of Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Zach. Mm -hmm. If you didn't know what a map of Earth looked like. I'm Zeke, not Zach. <laughs> on screen. Jeez. We're not going to do that, are we? <laughs> well, For those of people who haven't listened to our Kids on Bikes episodes, go listen to our Kids on Bikes episodes. <laughs> We're actually now looking for our illustrious 10th viewer. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that would be sweet. Yeah, they, there will be prizes involved, like virtual high fives. And I'll come to your birthday party if it's within the area I live in. <laughs> and it's not on a day I have something else. <laughs> we admit, this is not a great recruitment strategy. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, for kids on bikes, I play a character named Zeke. And I play a character named Zach, which is, I think, why he chose this game. <laughs> <laughs> it might have something to do with it. Yeah. Anyways, so the application that we pulled out of the phone company is an application to the King Fan Club, and we filled it out with our yellow crayon, and we're sending it off in the mail. Nice. But there's one or two more things we want to do here. Are we going to save our fish at all, or are we just going to let them swim around? He'll be fine. He'll be fine in the... His the name's Sushi. We obviously don't care about it that much. <laughs> I'm going to go eat things that are named after you today. I think it's supposed to be ironic. We care about him very much. Yeah. Yeah. But we have to throw the stale bread into our garbage disposal. Okay. Obviously. Obviously, that's what I do. Uh, 
to make breadcrumbs. Oh, okay. That's the only way to make breadcrumbs. And now we can make a nice chicken, uh, breaded bread, chicken, breaded chicken, and, uh, sure. pasta. Get some uh, chicken parm going on. I think that's the point of the game. Yeah. <laughs> Any game that allows me to make chicken parm is a good game in my books. Yep. And we're going to show off something in here because I think these Use the these floorboards here give us a whole whole lot of fun. <laughs> 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 All right. The floor. The Don't home, do it, Zach. You have so much to live for. Oh, not even fine. any animation. Straight just up. straight down. Straight down. What? Yeah. It's this, right underneath. Well, yeah, because the phone company is next door to us, but you have to go in the back, which is actually under our apartment. Got it. So this is a way to get in if we didn't have the glasses and the hat. You got it. But we do. You got and it. And when it had that little cutscene, be like, wait, that's our brothers in the back. This nullify. That would have happened regardless if we just had the rope. Well, if they heard us in the background and we in the back and we didn't have our hats and glasses on, or they didn't see us go past them with it, they would come back to investigate. Yeah. Uh, and that could be bad for us. Yes. But they didn't, and we didn't, so I think we're actually going to fly to Seattle now. Got to find that two-headed squirrel. Yeah. Is back, that... Back on plot here. Is that bus driver head down, or is his head just a gray blob? Uh, head down. Okay. He's asleep, so we got to wake him up. That's a good song, man. <laughs> it's a LucasArts property. <laughs> it's one of the... You just get a giant... <laughs> One of the most interesting things about these games is that since they were made, like, in the 80s and 90s and they were made by LucasArts, they have access to, like, Star Wars references and, like, Indiana Jones references. And, like, they're not going to sue themselves. Right. So you see them all throughout all these games. Mm. This man wants to sell us a book. And you know what? We're gonna buy his book. Yeah, as soon as I can. I always buy books from people who whisper things right into my ear. You just gotta walk away from me just a tiny little bit so I can like, select him. Forty-two bucks. So the thing that's directly behind us is like the airport terminal. So when we need to fly somewhere, we basically will just get a ticket from there. But we already got our ticket to go to Seattle, so Sweet. get on the plane. You're late. Hey now, I got here on time. <laughs> I didn't even check any baggage. What's going on here? What a way to treat customers. Ooh, I don't know who the guy behind us is, but he looks shady. He does look shady. Uh, spoilers: There's he's just a guy. He's nothing. He's he's not anybody we need to worry about. I don't know. I mean, if you want to worry about him, it's fine. But you don't have to. She just steal the like patty. Oh, she's just doing the, the demonstration. Yeah. Oh, they're even boring in games. <laughs> I never pay attention to them. I was like, guys up here. I'm like, mm, no, I've done this before. I know. This plane's going down. Yeah. She's... I'm going to help myself before a kid. That was, you didn't need to explain that. <laughs> she is a, she's a real pain in the rump, but she does give us our in-flight meal, Ooh. which is just a packet of peanuts. What is this? Local airline? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So I already didn't know which one to do. But we got bread and peanuts. We're working on a meal over yeah, here. Yeah, so if we want to rummage around, because like she said something about flotation devices and stuff, we Let's can... Let's steal it. But she's like, hey, Zach, the kleptomaniac. get back in your seat. <laughs> so we can't like we can't mess around with stuff on the plane. Although, for you know, it's an adventure game. They put us on here for some reason, right? Right. So we have to find a way that we can get the stuff we need. Uh, there are a few Golf items... Club. There are a few items that you need in the plane, and until you get them all, you will have this plane sequence between every flight. Uh, once you have all of the items from the plane, they skip this. Nice. So, it's not like you ever lose. Uh, what is the toilet handle? What is the call button? Oh, this is me showing off the what is function. Um, in lieu of an examine uh, prompt, which is what they use in later games, if you just pick the what is and just move your cursor around, it'll tell you what everything is. All the selectable items. Ooh, we can clog the toilet. Well, we're gonna clog the sink. Yeah. Yeah, those airplane ones are like uncloggable. Well, I hate to break it to you. They weren't uncloggable back in '87, I guess. I don't know. 
what happened to you in 87 <laughs> on the plane? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're going to call her to the back because it's flooding. Oh, she, excuse me. An anarchist is on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> so that buys us a little bit of time, but not enough. That's not going to stop her forever, so we are going to make an even bigger mess. Okay. We're just just really trying to take down this plane here. Well, I mean, we're not going to we're not going to put any we're not going to make put, anything. Put an egg in there, make it all stinky. <laughs> yeah. Nuke it. I don't know if you ever put an egg in a microwave. No, I can't say I have. But I have a they feeling I will tonight. They don't have a good time. Uh oh, what's <laughs> 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 I don't know what I was expecting based off the animation I've seen so far. <laughs> Quote unquote animation. It's so funny. Yep. It makes a mess, it makes a smell. Uh, she is not not happy. No. Because <laughs> adventure hey, game protagonists keep this. doing this stuff to her. <laughs> so now we've got all the time in the world. Uh, she's got to clean that out. Yeah. Ugh. So she just she just wanted to do her job, man. I Safety know. video. Listen, we're Can't trying to save the world. Uh, well, uh, we don't know that yet. We're trying to take a picture of a two-headed squirrel. <laughs> yeah, which is important. So we got to rummage through all of these bins. Um, true adventure game style. The thing that we need is always in the last one you look in, no matter which order you look them at them in. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah. Um, What'd you pick up? It's oxygen tank. And the you stole that old lady's oxygen tank. <laughs> <laughs> She's like at the airport. Where's my grandson? So the other thing is we're committing murder. <laughs> if you, um, if you, she's pissed. If you Jeez. don't, if you can't figure out what you need to do on the plane, the sequence ends after like nine minutes. Oh, okay. And if you want to end it early, you can always just press the escape key. It ends the flight, which is what I did to get us out of here. And we'll never see that lady again. Or the lady who needs her oxygen tank, so we can't even like give it back to her. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never see her again because she's dead. Yep. Here, we're back in the secret room. You can see the hole in the ceiling above that dude yeah. is, uh, is actually open. Consistent through the cutscene, which is nice. And is uh, the king Elvis? When they talk about the king, they are referencing Elvis. Yes. Okay. So wait, you applied to be part of the Elvis fan club with yellow mar yellow crayon. Correct. That's not creepy. What? <laughs> I don't know. It's just your fan club application was done in crayon. It's the only writing. It's the only writing utensil I had. All right. I, I made my super important map in yellow crayon. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Are you one of those people, like myself, I can't, um, if I have like a really nice pen or a really nice notebook, I can't use it because everything I feel like I write with that pen or write in that notebook is like dumb. Is not, like, a, not, 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 like, not crucial or important enough yeah, to I, warrant its use? Yeah. I got gifted a $50 like journal one time. And just because people who love me more than I love me decided it was a thing that uh, was important in my life. And I couldn't write anything in it because it was always like, go to the store and get eggs. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like that's not a $50 decision. To do, use this book. Yes. Hey, look, we found the two-headed squirrel. Plot point number one, done. So I uh, indicated so on the progress marker over on the right uh, there. That's... Absolutely amazing. <laughs> I definitely stole the idea from somebody else, so... I like how they have a stroke when you get near them. Yeah, well, he's a, he's a squirrel. He's upset, man. Yeah. A uh, bit, tiny bit of trivia. The big tree that's uh, kind of leaning over looks a little bit like another... A famous or a plot-important tree from another LucasArts game, Loom, which was also played earlier this month, so... Very cool. I mean, it doesn't look exactly like it, but it really reminded me of it, so I think it's supposed to be, like, the loom tree. I'm not sure. Well, a lot of times, too, like, they just take stuff and just, like, repurpose it to save oh, yeah. costs. You're gonna... <coughs> nope. We are going to... Give them peanuts. Oh, yeah. that's sweet. Yeah, here you go, buddy. There you go. That'll make up for you frying your fish and stealing the I oxygen. I didn't fry the fish. He you has a nice home in, in, the in the lamp. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> turn the lamp slowly on. Slowly cooking. I'm just... No, the lamp is off. He's Set fine. To slim, swim clockwise, then counterclockwise, so he yeah, bakes even. Rather than animating us, they uh, just cut to later. 
you might notice there isn't actually any character animation whatsoever except for walking. They never... There's a takeoff option? Take off a... Like a like the glasses Try it on your and the clothes. hat. My hat's Our not bird. an item. Or, no. The cl- my clothes aren't an item. Abandoned bird's nest. Yep. And a fire pit. Ooh. So if you know anything about how uh, fires work... I have been known to. <laughs> we're going to knock the nest down with something so that we can reach it. And uh, the... Where's, where's the fire pit there? So you can still click on the stuff even when it's dark. You don't really need the lighter if you know what you're doing, but I was showing off here. Nice. <laughs> so, so we're going to put the nest in for some kindling. Use the oxygen tank, blow this whole thing to smithereens. Um, I don't actually know if you can. Honestly, I didn't try it. <laughs> but there we go. Break The branches are tinder, is that the right? Tinder and kindling? Yep. And then we light them. What are those squirrels doing? Oh, they're, they're still angry at us because he's in his nest. Ah. It's like we And plus they dug up that whole hole hole for you. Yeah. And there's some weird markings over here in yellow. Ooh. Und- you gotta connect the dots, my friend. You, you know. Got a yellow, uh, yellow crayon. Yeah, you you would have kept the bread, you would be able to bash that open with your... We still have the... Well, I, I guess we could bash it open with the golf club. Ooh. So yeah, we draw the dots and then a door opens. And this is this is a little bit beyond what we what we thought we were getting into. We found the two-headed squirrel, but there's this weird pedestal with a crystal and a sensor. It's like the um, three-headed dogs that protect things in Harry Potter and mythology. <laughs> I was wondering if you were going to say where the yeah, in yeah. Cerberus. <laughs> and the, the mythology and also Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Of course. Um, <laughs> It's not as important, so only two out of squirrels take care of it. Well, yeah. I mean... <laughs> Could you imagine? It's just... It's been... <laughs> it was originally two-headed squirrels, and just over time, the, like, the fable dogs. of... Yeah. <laughs> just like, it was a three-headed squirrel. <coughs> it was a three-headed rodent. It was a three-headed <laughs> cat. Yeah. <laughs> it just slowly gets bigger and bigger. So, I don't know if you saw it there, but uh, we used our remote control for the TV on the sensor in the uh, in the thing, and it worked. Nice. <laughs> I think, universal remote. I think that would have been the first thing that I would have had real problems with if I was playing this without a guide. But I was playing this with a guide, so it's fine. Right. So, here we go, we need a ticket back to San Francisco, 260 bucks. Oof. It's not too Steep. bad. It's one of the cheaper plane tickets, actually, in the game. But yeah, see, we didn't get the... We didn't, didn't get, get the, the flight scene. You got it, because we got everything on the plane. Nice. That's a speedrun trick for all you Zack McCracken and the Alien Mindbender speedrunners out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am running a half marathon in May, yeah. and it's also one of those half marathons where like the Guinness people show up, so you oh. can like preemptively be like, I'm going to try to set the fastest time for a half marathon blah 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 right. and uh, w- one guy did it like two years ago for like dressed as a cowboy and like oh yeah so like you just you don't have to be fast you have to be specific yeah um, so I'm definitely thinking in ideas for that anyways carrying a ball and chain I definitely think there is a market for the Guinness Book of World Records for a fastest speed run of Zack and the <laughs> Clonosaurus or whatever <laughs> Billy and the Clonosaurus. Um, no, they like. I love the Simpsons. In in preparing for. Oh, she's here! Oh my goodness! Hey you! <laughs> so uh, we glossed over a bunch of stuff. We got our our King Fan Club came in the mail, or the the fan club card came in the mail, and then we we dropped off the. Uh, I love that. Just for a second. You're the woman for my dream. <laughs> oh, what a line. Mm-hmm. And uh, now she's like, oh, wait a minute, I remember you. You were in my dream, too. So we gave her that blue artifact, and now she's going to kick off the remainder of the plot. I love the way they walk upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> and she Ooh. is our second progress point. <laughs> it's pretty quick. Yeah. Right. Uh, 
Billy and the Clonosaurus, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, no, when I was doing preparation for this whole advent calendar thing, I definitely looked up all of the speedruns for all of the games. Um, I can look it up, but Zach McCracken is something like 20 to 40 minutes. Yeah. Because you skip all the dialogue and you just do all the things you need to do. So we're not setting a record today. Oh, no, we're not setting record. Oh, no. Definitely not. Uh, I uh, I got really excited because I've always wanted to set a world record, so I'm gonna try to do a half marathon on something specific. So if you got any ideas of a weird costume, we can run a marathon. In, I would probably have to look up what uh, other ones have been done. But I like really got into playing that old game Mappy, and I was like, this is a weird enough game <laughs> from Japan. Half marathon while playing Mappy? No, I wasn't thinking that. <laughs> although, although I um, <laughs> but uh, I was like, I'm just. For curious, let's look up uh, that. It's a. Uh, I'm hovering around like the hundred thousand point oh, yeah. range, which is like pretty good for my standard. It's where it starts getting really hard. <laughs> Three million is the oh, yeah, no, record. I'm it's, like, it's ridiculous. Close. Yeah. So uh, Annie is now a playable character, as are Melissa and Leslie, the two girls up on Mars. Oh, cool. So. Annie tells us that they've all been having dreams and they've now been sharing dreams and she tells us that they're going to share dreams with us too. Um, so we can switch. That's the other command that just showed up in the bottom right of our command thing. We can switch between our characters. So you just got to like walk around with two people. Well, we can also switch to Melissa and Leslie who are on Mars. So we actually have four people to control. Right. But we're going to keep things streamlined. So we're actually not going to see Melissa and Leslie for a while, unfortunately. And actually, most of the stuff we're going to do is still just with Zach. <laughs> Golf club. Oh. Yeah. So instead of the kazoo waking this guy up, we can also wake him up by tapping on his bus with something. Oh, it's a lot less violent than I, what I thought. <laughs> you just smash the door in. <laughs> Take me to the airport! <laughs> <laughs> Look how you're saving the world, and yet yeah, you're like, bus. <laughs> I love this. So if someone else is on the screen, is your friend coming? We're leaving in exactly 15 seconds. <laughs> You have that long to use the other person's cash card on the bus. Uh, but <laughs> it just sounds so weird when he says it. He's like, I'm leaving in exactly 15 seconds. <laughs> so, Sorry, 16 seconds. Click. <laughs> <laughs> Too long, lady. Uh, so we're going to send her off to London. All right. On a completely miserable flight. She's just going to wait here for a while. Just staying at the gate. There's a guy who, like, lived at the, um, the airport and just kept pushing his flight back. He just kept pushing... This is not the same as the guy who got stranded there because his country was taken over, right? Ah, that might be. Because they turned that one into a Tom Hanks movie. Um, there's also the guy who... These are all urban legends that I've heard are true. But, uh, you know, you read the headline and then you don't read anything else. Right. But, um, this guy got like a premium class seat that included like free lunch at the bar <laughs> and he kept pushing it back like 48 hours before but he would show up be like hey I'm here for my plane and uh, before the plane because one of the perks was is like free changing or whatever Yeah, he would eat his dinner and be like nah I'm, I'm gonna take the next one like tomorrow <laughs> And they didn't did catch that up? for like five months and then they what? got on. Yeah. I might be wrong about the specifics of the parts, but that is definitely. Yeah. Basically, a guy uses system of airport to get free food. I would believe that for like maybe a week before someone caught on. I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> I, I've like. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to think of a specific time in my life, mm. but uh, is this kind of like a maze? Is that the way it's. it's kind of it's kind of like a maze. Uh, Lucas Arts games do have mazes in them. This one is just like you have to walk off the screen in a from a door that you didn't enter from, and you'll eventually get to where you're going. Okay. You just got to do that a bunch of times. It looks like a maze, but walking through the jungle in this game because there's a lot of places where you have to do that is actually not a maze. You just have to leave the screen. Somewhere. Ooh, that doesn't look inviting. Oh, it's fine. Theodore. <laughs> Theodore is in. Yep. So it's good to know uh, that the doctor has a very Anglo white name. <laughs> anyway, we made it to uh, Kinshasa. <laughs> so, uh, 
I don't know what prompts us in the game to do this, but uh, we're going to give him our golf club so that he will, you know, he'll hang out with us. Yep. But he's going to quote unquote activate our blue crystal. I say Are quote unquote. Are you checking his away. credentials? Yeah, he actually is a doctor. He went yeah. to medical school for which doctor? Oh, okay. Hey. First class, though. Good for him. Yeah, you he know? did great. I just feel like there's not enough female representation in witch doctor school. Uh, I mean, I don't know. This is our this is our sample size of one. So. Yeah, so I'm still saying it would it would be nice of Lucas to you know include some diversity. Well, he's he's a male witch. Does that make a difference? I, I guess so. <laughs> ah, it's a sandwich. <laughs> An open faced club sandwich. Mm. So he is going to show us the. I always follow men in masks. <laughs> Sacred dance taught to us by the ancient ones. There it is. Unlock the door to the head. Which, uh, in military terms, I think is the bathroom. Yep. Is that right? Also, love how everybody's jacked in this place. Oh, yeah, no. Just because they just do this dance yep. cardio all day. So, this part of the dance is unimportant. The part we care about is the part after the fire is lit here. He's going to do a little lineup, and then we get this. Alright. Are you writing this down? We'll need it later. Okay. <laughs> you can trust on me. Yep. Whew. They dumped a lot of money in that. That fire seemed more better animated than the other fire in the squirrel spot. Probably. Yeah. The switch um, doctor knows how to make a good fire. So he says uh, next time it will cost you. It actually will. If you, want, if you missed the code. We need that code later. Uh, if you missed it and you come back, it actually you can give him your cash card and it costs you like $4,000. So try not to. <laughs> Although he does prompt you when you're playing. He says, right, like, don't forget what you see here. And pay close attention and blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> so that's all we need in Kinshasa for now. So we're going to go back to the airport. If I can find the exit. Come on, man. You can do it. <laughs> I don't remember when I recorded this at least a month ago. Now you're wasting precious speed run time. Um, <laughs> I, I can't submit this for speed demos archive, speed demo archives anyways because it's been edited down. <laughs> we gotta go to... Um, I was speaking of famous boy or video game people um, Billy Mitchell the guy who like oh said, he pioneered. yeah everybody knows yeah. Billy Mitchell for those who don't he like one of the first guy to play a perfect game of Pac-Man Miss Pac-Man I think it was Miss, Miss Pac-Man I Miss. think like the distinction makes a difference um, and also like for a while held or might even still hold the record for Donkey Kong Jr. Uh. Um, he was at Gen Con a couple months ago when I went uh. and he was doing autographs for thirty dollars, and nobody was like. Nobody, he was, like, I think maybe a couple people did, but like. Like I could, I could see not many people wanting to pay thirty dollars for an autograph, but like no one took him up on it. No, he was doing. He was playing Pac-Man, and there was oh. a substantial amount of people watching him. And then that, the older guy, who wears the referee jersey. If you've watched King of Kong, which, after you're done watching this, and if you have no life like we do, watch King of Kong A Fistful of Quarters. That's not a paid promotion. But it's a great documentary available on YouTube. I don't unless get paid they changed, Unless they changed it to like YouTube Red or whatever. Regardless, it's a great <laughs> little documentary. And anyways, there is the most lovable, amazing dude who is 50% hippie zen, like, mindfulness, 50% or er, video game referee doesn't play them <laughs> just anyways I feel like I've glossed over really important stuff here uh yeah. no we just went to Katmandu to visit with the guru he's going to teach us how to use the blue crystal that the witch doctor activated for us right was that the blue crystal we got from the squirrel squirrel yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's a little cut scene here where he tells us about sauteing something not the crystal yeah. I imagine That's when they said, that's no lady, that's my wife, get it? <laughs> yeah, this is uh, adventure game humor. <laughs> a 
pulled that joke one time in uh, a pool hall with somebody I was dating many moons ago, and there was a guy swearing, and one of the guys at the pool hall was like, hey man, and, like very classic, old, like they were all like 50 plus, it was like, there's ladies here, and I'm like, that's no lady, that's my girlfriend, and everybody laughed, except for my girlfriend, and we're not dating anymore, nope. so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson for all you, uh, young dating folk. People who hope someday to have a girlfriend. Yeah. Yep. So a kidding. bunch of men try to say mean things, defend your girl's honor. I don't know. A fire. Well, they didn't say anything. They said yeah. something, something lady. Yeah. It was, you were at fault for that one. <laughs> yeah, it was okay. It was me. It was me. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, we have to get in here and... Uh, actually, what we need to do... So, I'm showing off here. We can't read these because they're in whatever language they use in Nepal. I'm, I would say Nepalese, but I don't want to just assume that's what it is. We want the flagpole here, and we can't steal it while the cop is in there, so... We have to set a fire. The fire distracts them for like five to ten minutes. It's a long time. It's a big fire. Yep. So, we got the flagpole, and we're back at the airport. Nice. And since we activated the blue crystal, I added that to our progress tracker on the right there. Woo! Um, <clears throat> we do have part of another crystal. Uh, when we met Annie the first time, she had a crystal shard. It's like yeah. half of the yellow crystal. And he's just been standing there staring at the gate. She is, yeah, she's still just hanging out in London yeah. in a shutdown mode, basically, while we gallivant around the planet. <laughs> Bye, Annie. Bye, Annie. <laughs> I think you might have already mentioned this, but is this one of those games where you can get like better endings or worse endings? This game, no. This no, game, I think, just has one ending. There's, there's no alter There's not really any alternate paths either. You have to do all the things that are in them, and you can't really skip any of them. You can sort of zip around the globe as long as you've got money, but you can't really skip any of the steps. There's alternate solutions to puzzles, but that's kind of it. Cool. So this is another jungle that we've got to walk through. I usually just find the closest exit and walk through it. Nice. Yeah, and this is Peru. It's beautiful. So, fill only with dry breadcrumbs. Oh, uh -huh. well, conveniently we have some breadcrumbs. Yeah, we could have just uh, not had them at this point and then had to go back to San Francisco, grind them in our sink and come back. But you know, It's like the only way to do it. Yeah. It is the only way to do it in game, really. So, um, I, the guru told us that the uh, blue crystal will let us communicate with the animals. So when we use it on an animal, we spin around, we fall down. Okay. And then the first time we use it, this happens. We get this cutscene. It's, it's happened. What happened? <laughs> I'm not going to voice the whole thing. Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> no. right. So what they say you is... Must have recovered yeah, the airbag at like, once. <laughs> we don't, don't want to be that guy. Um, so, yeah, they know that we've used the device and they're going to come and try and take the device from us, lock us up, something, right? They're going to do something bad to us. Oh, no. He's, oh, no, he's got an extra one. takes time to evaluate his appearance. Yep. So, I don't know what the time is. I think we have like a minute, maybe less than a minute, once this cutscene stops, but we don't have to do much. All we've got to do is, because we now inhabit the bird, I'm going to fly over to this statue, or carving, or whatever. Fly in the eyeball, pick up the scroll. <laughs> how'd, you, how'd you know to fly into that one? Um, just having done it the wrong way a couple times. Okay. Uh, we will see what's in the other eyeball later in the game, but it's nothing we can get right now. So, just saving us some time. When we fly back, we have to give the scroll to Zack's inert body and then switch back to him using the to Zack command in the bottom right. And then we just want to be off screen. So 
So what'll happen is the uh, the alien will show up to wherever the blue crystal was used. So as long as you get to leave the screen before that happens, uh, nothing bad will happen to you. What are the bad things? Um, he captures us and puts us in the alien mind bender. Makes us dumb. Makes us dumb. Do you keep playing, or like you have to restart the game, kind of thing? Um, we'll, we can we'll get to it in part of the extras later. But you don't. There's no. Uh, it's not a game over. Okay. So I just wait around here to show off what happens when he shows up. It takes a little bit of time. Not as specific as a bus driver, that's for sure. No, he's not. It's just like... Moral of the story, kids, is <coughs> trust bus drivers, don't trust aliens. Don't trust aliens. There he goes. He just... Yep. He just Whoa. pops in. He's like... Well, no one's here. Well, yeah, Zlor, Zlorvik, Zlorvik. he utters yeah. a curse. That's a strong language. You got to, got to put the, you're definitely not monetizing this now. Nope. And now we are going to switch to the people on Mars. That guitar rift. Yeah. Ooh, the anticipation's killing me. Speaking of which, do you know we picked up Terraforming Mars? Which is great. Okay. I, uh... I think Steph posted. I mean, whatever. Knuckles? What's her nickname? Yeah, Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> she posted it in the chat, I think. Oh, yeah. So this is uh, Melissa in the blue and Leslie in the pink. Oh. They turned their camper van into a interplanetary spaceship and flew to Mars for spring, spring break. break. Yeah. Uh. They are lamenting their uh, their choice. <laughs> this is a bad idea. She's got space sickness. Yeah. But they have some stuff that we need them to do here on the Mars. So, first thing to do, once we pick up our stuff. I also heart Mars. Yep. We've got a boombox, glove compartment some cash cards because apparently this is supposed to be the future from 1987 where there isn't money anymore and there's only cash cards I feel like it's somewhat accurate I throw around cash people look at me like I got two heads yeah but I mean this is 30 years after this game was made right <laughs> so <laughs> I, I mean, also liked how they had fuzzy dice in there yeah well I have fuzzy dice in my car don't you have fuzzy dice in your car I used to I don't know why I haven't picked up new fuzzy dice for my car you're a bad person, probably. Probably. At face area rapid transit, F A R T. So, yeah, they need their cash cards on Mars so they can get tokens for this transit system. Uh, general gameplay tip if you are unsure of what you're doing, take like two tokens every time, and you'll see why later. But uh, always have like extra tokens, I guess, is a good idea. Even though the, the tram only goes from the face, the, the giant Mars face, to the pyramid. Because there's a pyramid on Mars as well for some reason. Um, but yeah, there's also a little um, home, hostel, here on Mars. I don't know. The friendly hostel. There's, this is far enough in the future that I guess there is just a, a place to hang out on the surface of Mars. Airbnb has crashed. We so, have to use hostile systems. We gotta replace the fuse in there with the fuse we got from the. So also staring at like a van. dude boogie. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> That's probably well, somebody didn't make their bed. That's unfortunate. Well. So there's a can of gas here, and nice. she I says, "I don't need it. It's for a different game," which is a. Call back to Maniac Mansion where there's a chainsaw that's out of gas. Um, <laughs> and it doesn't do anything? There's no gas in the whole game? There's no gas in the whole game. You never find a gas can and you can't. You can take the chainsaw, but you can't do anything with it. That's hilarious. Yep. The gas can is here on Mars, but no one will take it. Ha, interconnectedness or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they were planning some sort of multi game sequel where you're like, all right. I gotta get the gas can from Zach McCracken and then go to Maniac Mansion and blah blah blah. That would be cool. 
But uh, that never happened. That never happened. Ooh. So here is the door to the face on Mars, or the head on Mars. So this is actually the code we got from the uh, witch doctor. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is the reason why, as, as a child, when... I would go to other friends' places and play games. <laughs> I would hate games. Because I'd play something like this, and I would I would connect those dots. I did play this game back in, like... I want, back in university. I won't say the year, but it was before the internet was very popular. So You're I don't so think I had a walkthrough. But I got stuck around here when I played the game for the first time. Oof. If there were walkthroughs, like, I didn't really know about. You made this much progress, and it would just be so upsetting to be like, "Well, that's it." <laughs> yeah, I cannot do better. I mean, but yeah. you always hear like stories of like, "Oh, I knew a guy who like knew how to do this part," and but he wouldn't know how to do a part I knew how to do. Yeah, like, we just. And I never knew people like that. It was always like, do you know how to do this? Be like, no, that's lame. I don't, I don't do that. I don't do that. I play sports. Yeah. So, um... She walks much faster when you're... <laughs> yeah, when you zoom out. Yeah. So we rubbed the crystal and opened the door, but it also made a noise. We recorded that noise on our boombox because this crystal is broken. So we're just going to turn on the boombox and play the noise. And it opens the door. Yeah. So this is the Mars Temple, and it is something of a maze, and it is like it's a legitimate maze where you can get lost if you don't know where you're going. But all the doors are kind of labeled with different colors, and if you pay close attention and draw yourself a map, you actually... The structure is not huge, it's just a little confusing the way they've designed it. But I was working off of a map I found online, so we will not get lost. Nice. Yeah. We also need to come down. So we grabbed a little uh, little Egyptian-style ankh from that room, and we're going to come down here. And there's some strange markings on this uh, thing, which we will need. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy. <laughs> And uh, we could bring the ladder over here and rub that switch, but I'm just going to play the boombox again. It's not broken. Don't face it. Yeah. It's just faster to do this rather than take the ladder with you. Uh, so, the actually, the, the last door we went in and this one aren't actually mazes. They're really just, like, one room at the end of a hallway. But the first one, which we did not go in, is a bit of a maze, so... There's a big key here. We want that. Do you want the smaller key, too? No, oh, no, the big key broke. I wonder if there's a lot of it nearby. <laughs> nearby, yeah. on Mars. On Mars. Yeah, okay. A little button on this thing. It's going to give us some more plot. Powering up. I'm going to fire my laser. Remember when memes were young? <laughs> um, yes. I'm going to fire my laser. Um... Uh, can I can has cheeseburger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For you young ones out there, when the internet was young, we didn't have cool memes about depression and... <laughs> yeah, there were cats that wanted food. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So this there, is an alien. <laughs> there was Dragon Ball Z guys who had laser breath. That was it. Look it up. Ask somebody older than you. Yeah, so he's like, hey, the game, power crystal in the pyramid or whatever. Bye. And then the, the message repeats, so we're just going to leave. <laughs> so, the, <laughs> it's the, like, wait, come back. <laughs> the giant blue alien is a separate race of aliens than the weird... Yep. Uh, Ones that wear... The hats, hats and, yeah. yeah. So, they're like, hey, we left a long time ago, but we left all these things in place to help you stop those other aliens. So that's what's going on. The well, thing that we're assembling with all the crystals and whatever is the device. So comically fast. Yeah, and then not so fast here. Yeah. But she is 
done, so we're going to switch to Leslie. And there's a little switch in here. Uh, you can always get oxygen from it so that you don't run out of oxygen and die on the surface of the planet. Makes sense. I have never, in playing the game directly, run out of oxygen on the planet. It takes, like, I think two hours in-game, maybe. It takes a very long time. So, it's a broom. Ah, I also keep brooms under my bed. But actually, I guess it's <laughs> when you want to trick somebody that you're not there, you put the broom. Yeah, it's actually a broom-shaped alien. Because <laughs> it's got eyes. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, he's going to take it anyways. <laughs> Now, uh, Leslie has to take it because Melissa is afraid she won't pick up the alien. This is the this is one of the gameplay reasons that there are two people on Mars is because uh, only certain people can do certain actions. It looks like a solar panel. Yeah. So the solar panel is for the tram. The tram won't operate till it's clear. And then we're gonna get to a token. It sounds more like we're getting a like a nerd's candy <laughs> or a Tic Tac maybe. Well, oh, that that would be a pretty sweet job, like foley artist, where you. Oh, like yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you you know you can use other like you don't have to use your mouth for all your foley. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Although I also feel like it'd be wildly infuriating sometimes too. Yeah. Just. So this is where it starts getting maze like. Not, I want shoes on wet gravel, not dry gravel. <laughs> like just the insane demands. For Listen, people. man, we did actual wet gravel. This is what it sounds like. No, wetter, <laughs> wet. more shoes. <laughs> Squishy gravel, please. <laughs> so yeah, this is where you gotta pay attention to the doors. Yeah, I'm working off of a map that uh, I, I already said. It. I found a map online. And this is where we gotta get to. Yep. Adding sound effects. It's <laughs> <laughs> the Star Wars thing. Beep boop. <laughs> <laughs> there oh, there so we you go. Didn't have to add. There you go. I think ours were better. Well, I think we got a future in Foley Artist. I don't know. If, here. If Zach and Zeke's fully <laughs> artistry. <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> cool. So Speaking of which, uh, we're offering a 20% off discount for anybody listening who wants to hire us. Both us fully artists with no experience <laughs> yep. or equipment. <laughs> yeah, some equipment. If you don't mind most of the sounds coming out of our mouths, uh, yep. then... Yeah. So we, uh, we... Wow, your hat's off. Yeah, we increased the air pressure and temperature, which I guess means there's air on Mars. Uh, and we don't need our helmet. I went the wrong way. Or no, I went the right way. I'm just going the long way around here. I was I forgot what I was doing. It occurred to me, a bit of a funny aside here. Oh, I was going here. That's what I was doing. Uh, these games came out a little bit after, like three years after... Our uh, Kids on Bikes is actually set. Nice. So these are the games that Zach and Zeke will be playing in oh. three, three or four years, maybe nice. five years, if we, to get up to Yellowknife. <laughs> Ooh, it's a doggo. Ooh, doggo. doggy. Yep, another set of strange markings that we need to remember. But that one is right by a Sphinx, so we know that is for the Sphinx. Uh, spoilers, we're going to head to Egypt and go to the Sphinx. And there's a thing in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. There's like a landmass. Yeah. Just, because it's ancient Earth. Uh, and yeah. that's supposed to be Atlantis. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Little details. Anywho. <laughs> Make sure we're still recording. We're still recording. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Oh no, we lost five hours worth of audio. We gotta start over. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be a lot more poop jokes. Uh, poop, 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 poop. <laughs> anyway. So we uh, found the strange markings, two sets of them, and we got the key, and we uh, fixed the air and pressure situation. 
the air pressure and temperature situation. So, what happens if you don't take your helmet off? If we don't, well, they don't have to really take. Like, they're not going to worry. I just wanted to show off that you could take their helmets off. Oh, nice. But now we're back to Zach, our hero and main protagonist. <laughs> Mexico City. Yep. And like. Oh, it's an enjoyable flight. Yeah, I think it's just random whether you have a miserable flight or, like, a completely mundane flight. But you know Mexico City. It looks like this. Yeah. All the times I've been. Yep. Full of jungle. The jungles of Mexico look like the jungles of Peru look like the jungles of, uh, Zaire. <laughs> I feel like they're maybe glossing over a little bit. Man, so he's speedrunning. Yeah. There's a huge... Incan Temple. It's actually three separate entrances to the same place. Um, this isn't so much a maze as it is like a... It's not like a maze maze, but it's like a door maze. Like it's all hallways full of doors, and the doors kind of go to weird places all around. Oh, okay. So you want to kind of be heading towards... Uh, smaller hallways, but also when you get when you make progress, the lights just are off. <laughs> so you have to look for a torch. You have to light a torch. Uh, and again, I'm using I'm using a map off screen to uh, to find my way through. But basically, it's uh, like four big hallways, then four medium hallways, then four tiny hallways around a center uh, chamber, which is what we're trying to get to. So this is one of the very small chambers that we've made it to. And then as soon as I find one more torch. <laughs> also, if you know where you're going and you know what you're looking for, you don't even need to light the torches. You could just walk there. I'm going to walk in here. Hey, central chamber. Oh, he's got a yellow thing up there. Yep, he's got part of the Should yellow. Up. We're going to try. Crystal shard. It's the other half of the yellow crystal that we need, but he can't get it out. Also, he can't pull the crystal out. So, <laughs> so we are going to use our yellow crayon. <laughs> Come on. And now we've got to draw one of the ones that we saw that the the people saw on Mars. And it's this one, the one that was on the big statue. <clears throat> Not the doggy. No, the doggy is for something else later. Let's do this. And the guy's like, okay, I guess you can have this. We take it. And then the lights go in. But we just have to leave. And then back out the way we came. Through this door, which everyone remembers. And this door, which... <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Come on, Zach. Go, Zach. Yeah. <laughs> is this everything you thought it would be? Is this Absolutely. Exciting? It is an adventure game, so. It's not no, it was. You know what? It was really funny because I, I really appreciate the fact that you asked me to come help do commentary. Well. Because I don't have a social life and this is great. <laughs> uh, but, uh, no, but then you sent me like a list of games I've never heard of before and I was like, mm, this one. And then yeah. I looked at it and I was like, no, not that one. And then I looked at this one and I was like, eh, yeah, I can do this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your helping, you know? Yeah. Yeah. A no, lot of people aren't comfortable having their voice on the internet. Oh. I mean. If anybody's using my voice to do anything cool, then <laughs> just great. remixing your things is like my credit card number is. <laughs> <laughs> if they had to remix it, they wouldn't know it. <laughs> I know. Yeah, sure, go for it. <laughs> it's uh, <coughs> one eight six. <laughs> Twelve hundred and five and fifty three bull Those weren't numbers. Anyways, this guy wants money too. Everybody wants money. How the ones? You just sold one butter knife, and then you're just been giving away money since then. Yeah, well, this this man is he's in a bad situation, so we're gonna give him some money. But he takes cash card, like yeah. <laughs> like all. Uh, he's got like the little square. Yeah, he's he's dude. Yeah. <laughs> but that doesn't do anything for him. He's his life still ain't got no meaning. He says so. We're gonna give him the book of enlightenment that we got from the guru devotee. 
the guy in the other airport. The guy who was whispering in our ear. So if you just gave him, if you didn't give him money, you just gave him the book. Yeah. You don't have to give him money. I was just showing off. Oh, okay. I'm showing off all this. And, no. <laughs> I was showing off that it doesn't do anything. So uh, he says he doesn't need whiskey any longer, so he gives us that, which is what we want. Yeah. <laughs> so now we can be a homeless alcoholic. But uh, we're going to read this sign. Miami is closed. <laughs> the whole Miami. <laughs> yep. So we, uh, we can't go there. But we are going to hang out um, at Bermuda Triangle. That's the one. Ooh. 99 bucks. It is the cheapest ticket. But it only... Like, you get to do a little flight and then you come back. So you don't actually go anywhere. <laughs> I love how it's got a little Illuminati like, yeah. triangle. <laughs> and uh, this guy has brought down 13 planes. He's a killer. He well, yeah. Tell that, right on the tail. I mean, that was back in the war, probably. I, g- gauging from the plane, I'm going to guess, like, World War One. <laughs> he has to wear a hat and glasses, and you're, like, totally fine without it. Because I'm behind him. You see, I'm riding his slipstream. <laughs> <laughs> So he tells us a joke. The joke is actually random, but it's based on... Uh, it. I think it's randomly chosen at the beginning of the games, because if you keep reloading, you keep getting the same joke. So I didn't want to... Wait, you, you, you can get different jokes? You can get different jokes, yeah. I get, an, I get another one later when I show off the extras, but... Uh, how, how many times have you played this game? <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> Ah, uh, we did not make it to the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> nope. So if so, if you have the blue crystal, this is what happens to you. And it only happens to Zach. It doesn't happen to anyone else. I hate when this happens. Man. This Yeah, this happens to him all the time. But he has a combination on these buttons. Blue. Red. Green. Following you so far. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so you gotta write those down too. But we are not gonna go with them. He was leaving in exactly 15 seconds. Yeah, <laughs> like the bus driver. Yeah. Transportation people are very edgy. Yeah. We gotta keep to a schedule. You can tell this is a work of fiction. (laughs) Oh, the king. That's not Elvis. Not quite. He's very slightly off. There we go. (laughs) There we go, oh yeah. Perfect. (laughs) Get it? Because Elvis was an alien. (laughs) Ha ha ha. So he walks back and forth, thinking of things that he can do to us. Um, eventually, he will tell them to put us in the alien mind bender. But we have uh, we have the fan club card. So he just walks, stops walking back and forth for a second. We can give it to him. Yeah. If he's like, "Oh, you're a fan. Well, come back anytime." Oh, if only it were so simple. Yep. So, <laughs> you may be wondering, why did we do all this? Why are we here? <laughs> like, we didn't actually accomplish anything. Yeah. We got abducted by the aliens. Uh, he gives us another code. This code will beam us back to San Francisco. Uh, but we're going to ignore that. The thing that we actually want in here is over here. It's also a a cheap, which is to say free way to travel back to San Francisco from Miami, if you really want. But we can get winning lotto numbers. It's another way to get additional money if you are running short. (laughs) Good. This game baffles me. I'm just... I like it. 
I, the only thing I worry about is that oh, I just imagine like young little twelve year old me getting so excited like a bad, bad game. <laughs> little little baby Papa Spicy. <laughs> little baby Spicy. Um, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> yeah, just being like, and then asking my dad, be like, Dad, please help me. And he's like, I don't have a better clue. Well, this game came with a hint book. Uh, which was not uncommon back in the day. So you were like, I don't know what to do, and the internet doesn't exist yet. Yes. What do I do? There's my, like this book of so many pages full. My dad was a semi-pro football player that uh, turned into a fire chief. My mom was an amateur bodybuilder. We had so much testosterone in our house that I'm pretty sure that book would be like, we don't need no explanation <laughs> books. <laughs> parents did Ikea by sight. Yeah, well... So it's just parachute down. Yeah, we, we put in the Where'd code. You get the well, I'll tell you. So we put in the code that the pilot gave us. So we're back in Bermuda or above the Bermuda Triangle. Um, the parachute is he gave it. The pilot gave it to us when we got on the plane. Oh, okay. Um, so he's so you can't miss it. Like you literally are giving it to you before you need it. Um, and then we have the wetsuit. <laughs> if you didn't have the wetsuit. Uh, actually, it's not the wetsuit we need here, although I thought it was. It's the flotation cushion from the plane. Ah. But we also had to get that to get the lighter, so we couldn't get to this part of the game without the flotation seat either. So neither of those really can result in an unwinnable situation. But here we are floating around in the ocean, and there's a maybe a shark in the background there? I swear there's dialogue somehow where, if you look at it, it's like, that's maybe a dolphin, maybe a shark. But I, I couldn't get it to happen. Use the kazoo. You got it. It's our shark summoning kazoo. <laughs> no, it's a. It's also our bus driving waking up kazoo. Yeah. It's a dolphin. <laughs> oh. We're gonna ride that dolphin. Yep. So we've got a bit of time to do this because he says he'll float here for an hour, and it actually is an hour in game. Oh. Yeah, don't tell me. Don't don't ask me how I know that. But with our blue crystal, we can possess the dolphin too. And look, it's Atlantis right here. Nice. <laughs> right here, fifty feet underwater. Looks the same as when I was younger. Yep. All we need is under the seaweed. We need this thing, glowing object. Hey, the second part of the uh, the, the machine thing we're right. trying to make. Yep, we made progress. It's been so long. I forget what progress even is. But we <laughs> we pick up the glowing object, we give it to Zack, and we switch back to Zack. Because remember, every time we use the blue crystal, the alien comes after us. Oh, that's right. It didn't give us the cutscene this time. But we're supposed to remember that it's a thing that happens. But we can't... Like, where do we go? We're stuck in the ocean, right? Oh, no. We can't actually get out of here. So... We actually have to wait for him to come Equip and capture us. Wrench. What? Equip the monkey wrench. The monkey wrench. Defend yourself. No, it's fine. Um, this is also another way to get around the globe cheaply. Uh, wherever you are, you, if there's an animal to use, you can use the blue crystal, talk to an animal, and then these guys will capture you and take you back to San Francisco. Good to know. <laughs> so... There are ways to get around, like, the limited amount of money. He's just walking around. <laughs> oh, wow. So, he takes the artifacts, and oh. he knows what to do with us. Oh, dear. Yeah. Get captured. <laughs> we just walk in. We're yeah, he's just like, oh, well, you know, we can't do anything about it. Oh, thanks for the artifact. No yeah. problem, buddy. So, getting captured and put in the mind bender is a thing that'll happen sometimes either if you're not careful or depending on how you play the game it's not a game over we can get out of this there are a number of ways to get out of this we are going to do the one that's the most convenient and quickest which is to say we're going to put on the hat <laughs> hey you put the wrong guy here. <laughs> I, I could have swore I put somebody different in there so he starts saying these oh no we're abducted by space aliens da 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 but uh just as soon as you put on the hat and glasses, like I think I'll check on the prisoner, even though it's like literally ten seconds since I put him in there. Checks out. He's like, "Oh no!" 
What have I done? How'd you get in here? <laughs> Does he apologize? No, he just he tells us that it was stupid for us to put ourselves in here. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. So you can kind of see at the bottom two of our commands are missing. Open oh three. Three of our commands are missing. Oh, that's what happens when you get put in the mind bender? Yeah, when you get put in the mind bender, like each of them slowly disappears until all you're left with is walk to, because you can always walk. Uh, and then once all your... Um, so I can't open the cabinet because the, uh, the command is missing. Um, but as soon as... As soon as all of your commands are gone, he throws you out on the street, and then they slowly come back over time. So it doesn't even affect the game, it just makes it take longer to finish. Oof. So you won't have the open option. Oh, it, there, it, yeah. yeah, you do. It just takes a while to come back. Yeah. So we get all our stuff back. I, I think he took the crystal and the glowing object from us. So now that we have them back, we can get the hell out of here. He's like, bye. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. What did you do today? I pulled some guy out of the ocean. Threw him in jail and wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> they have even less self awareness than that. That's great. Man, what a sleepy bus driver. Yep. He must work for Guelph. That that that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. From public transit. Sleepy. No, actually, they're really good. They get me to work on time all the time. Sponsored by Guelph Public Transit. Yes. So we can play the lotto here. Oh yeah, we got the winning lotto ticket. We numbers. sure did. Because, like all lottos, this only requires four-digit input, and we get to choose what the numbers are. They don't choose them for us. I don't play the lotto, I don't know. Yes. Uh, so he lets us buy a ticket, we choose the numbers, you choose the numbers that you got from the uh, alien spacecraft thing, spaceship. And then it takes some time in-game. <laughs> Gee, I win. It takes some time in-game for this to happen. Uh... So I just... There. <laughs> nice. I literally didn't do anything, but just waited outside of the, the thing here until it, till we won. So I just edited that out. Smackaroos! Oh. <laughs> People don't say smackaroos as much anymore. Oh, man, I love smackaroos. What was your favorite breakfast cereal? <laughs> <laughs> I like old-timey slang. <laughs> 10,000 shish kebabs. No. <laughs> Uh, speaking of 10,000 shish kebabs, there was a deal that uh, they ran when I was in college where it was 100 tacos for $100. Oh, yeah, no, I had that yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That was... <laughs> That's dangerous. That's dangerous. We it used was also to... funny because we used to do it where you would order it and the goal was to eat them before they went bad. Like, it was a personal thing. So you would try to eat 100 tacos by yourself or yeah. any group? No. I would try to... We only did it once. Like, everybody only did it once. Man, that used to be our Saturday night thing. We would, like... One, one dude from the residence would go and get 100 tacos. Everyone would chip in, like, 20 bucks. That's insane. And then we would just split it. Which is, I think, what um, it's for. Yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> but it was more like, how long can you survive off tacos? Uh, A.K.A. how long till they're too gross for you to eat anymore? Well, there was always, it, like, 20 or 30 tacos left over. You're just like... Ugh. Yeah, so you wasted some money and you got maybe like four days if we're pushing it. Yeah. Whereas a hundred dollars can usually give you a smart. week's worth. I, of... I didn't say I was at Yale no, and we. Were no one this. was smart. No children are smart. Okay. Yeah. Any children out there? You're not smart. It's a very. <laughs> oh yeah, it's super true. Oh, let's give her some whiskey. I like where this is going. Yeah. I've not been paying attention. <laughs> We're gonna give her whiskey, the scroll, the scroll, uh, and a guitar. Please tell me it's gonna uh, wire cutters. She needs the wire cutters. She needs both crystal shards and the flagpole. Ugh. Once again, and I've said this many times already, I would have been so frustrated <laughs> <laughs> playing this game as a kid. What? You didn't give me the flagpole. What? How did I supposed to know that? Well, I mean, you're seeing this all. Like, all streamlined down, right? Absolutely. Once we get there, it'll seem a little more obvious. So this is London, ah. as you know. Yes, Stonehenge in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Russian guard in the front. <laughs> so, he... Yeah, of course. Yeah. There we go. 
he drinks half a bottle of whiskey and falls asleep. Like, it happens to all of us every night. Yeah, I've never... Like, I don't know how that comes about. I know, I guess, some people get sleepy and stuff like that, but, like, when I... When I have too much to drink, I don't get sleepy. I get, like, pukey. Yeah. No, me too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, this looks like a wonderful garden to ruin. You'll you'll have to remember, though, this man is British, uh-huh. so his physiology is different. Than- <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> right. That's the moral of the story, kids, is that British people fall asleep when they're drunk. Yep. Canadian people throw up when they're drunk. Uh, I mean, if we have to take a lesson from that, I guess that's what right. it would be. People from the U.S.? What do they do? Uh, they elect poor presidents. <laughs> Zing! <laughs> Hot take. I don't think anybody's tried to uh, go yeah. after the U.S. president at all recently. Oh, no. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a, as you say, spicy. <laughs> it's muy picante. Yeah. So she reads the scroll and fuses the crystal together. Oop. And I almost forgot to take it with me. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I win this game? <laughs> Sitting in Stonehenge. Yep. So, almost, it actually picks up from here. Because the yellow crystal is a pretty uh, potent, game-changing artifact, if you will. You mean the excitement increases? <laughs> it couldn't possibly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, having fun. This is pretty cool. We give the crystal to Zach, and we fly. We, as Annie, fly off to Cairo, the beautiful city of Cairo. And as you know, Cairo looks like a this. <laughs> of course, I was expecting you to be like a Peruvian a ju- jungle. A jungle. <laughs> Have you been there? So this is kind of a neat trick. Um, the yellow markings will show up on whichever leg you go to second. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of neat. But Zach has some other things to do first, which is to say he has to go to Cairo. He's the one with the yellow crayon. <laughs> Did you forget that? Uh, I don't know. I suppose I could have given Annie the yellow crayon, but I think I needed Zach to go to Cairo to go to wherever he's going to next, because... I don't know if you've been paying attention to the uh, airport terminals, but, like, you can't get to everywhere from everywhere. Right. So you can only get to, like, Miami only links to a few places, and San Francisco only links to a few places. So you kind of have to hop from place to place to get exactly. Are we going to draw the doggo? We are going to draw the doggo. Um, this whole game seems like one of those, like, puzzles they give you for like if you want to become a designer be like all right so like if you want to do code be like create a system that has this many exits but these exits are closed and these exits are open and these exits leads to these things are less you're giving me graph theory flashbacks man <laughs> sure um i went through business and i didn't have to deal with any of this job although i do logic puzzles all the time which are super fun it's like um you know annie was in you know Annie and the person who finished yeah, third. Finished third. You know, were one of the two of them had an apple. Yeah, and the exactly. other one did not wear pants. On. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so this is another maze situation, but it's actually pretty easy. All you got to do is go in whichever door has the sun symbol on it. So we are walking literally through every sun door, and you will get to where you need to go, which is nice. Three people dancing. Three people dancing. No. Oh, it's the sun. sun. You gotta go on that one. Man and boat. Forget you. Forget you, man and boat. <clears throat> and if you go through like eight of them, eventually you get to a door that has... Uh, where is it? Where is it? It has... Eyeballs. Makes sense. Very clearly looks like a destination. So. Zach is... He's gonna read. He's gonna try to read the button, which is stupid first. And then he's gonna try he's and read... still wearing his wetsuit. Yes, he is. He's going to read the hieroglyphics, but he can't. This is one of the things that Annie can do that Zach cannot do, is that Annie can read hieroglyphics. She's well versed in the language. Annie, or Annie in the whole time. Well, we actually need both of them. Oh, okay. See you, boat. Oh. <laughs> See you, boat. <laughs> Not going in that boat door. Nope. Ain't no boat door. Uh, 
I want this type of music played at my wedding. Just the entire, we want the audio from this. And for walking down the aisle, it'll be the, the like, opening theme. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yep, we are actually pretty close to the end. Yes. <laughs> Believe it or don't. We only got one more crystal. You got Go. one more crystal and another part. There's the middle part that's that holds oh, yeah. the crystals up is also missing. Um, but yeah, we are super close. Nice. It's just that walking through this takes a while. <laughs> no worries. Like I said, I've got places to be today. All right, Annie's gonna read these. Oh, she's so much better at reading stuff. Yeah, she's the smart one. <coughs> so she can tell us which buttons. To <laughs> and they're like, oh my goodness! Look at all this info. Oh, good. We got a map of the Martian pyramids. Yeah. And he's like, Zach is like, I should add this to my map, but he doesn't until you actually make him do it. I should do this. I should. So, switch to Zach. Yellow crayon on the map. And now it looks like this. Look, he drew the map. It's three little objects. Nice. It's actually just the pyramid, the face, and a little symbol indicating that it is Mars. Oh, right. <laughs> Mars. And one more set of these, de these dealies. My heart is racing. Oh, uh, that's probably all the coffee you drink. It's true. So now we're gonna leave Annie here basically until the end of the game. See ya, Annie. Yep. I just want to know, Annie, are you okay? She's okay. Are you okay, Annie? <laughs> Michael Jackson. I, I got. Yeah, I got. <laughs> <laughs> I just was trying to find another joke in there, and I was like, maybe Zach is a smooth crib. No, yeah. he's, he's definitely not smooth. <laughs> I don't know. Does it, okay, I keep seeing him from the side. Does Zach have a mustache or no? No. Uh, he's got that curly hair. I can't... When you see him from the front, he kind of looks like he has a... He either has a mole near his mouth or he is smirking. Uh, he's got a super sweet mustache. <laughs> Maybe he has a mustache. Like a little pencil one. Ugh, <laughs> 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 uh, pube stash and blah. <laughs> The truth is, Zach is only like definitely went, 19 years old. <laughs> I definitely went to like high school with like 12 guys that oh, were yeah. like, I have a mustache and just like really wanted to grow out the faintest of what I would now consider my 3 o'clock shadow. You know, like. Yeah. So, the witch doctor in Zaire told us to bring the yellow crystal to him. That After sounds... the dance, he was like, Bring me the yellow crystal. So we go and do that, and then everything just ramps up from there. But we gotta get through. <laughs> get through another jungle. Uh, this is maze-like jungle. Oh no! And still wearing the wetsuit because I think it looks better than his clothes. Well, don't make the guy wear a tie. It's his day off. Yeah. And he's trying to save the world, I guess. These two huts here, you can't go in. There's nothing in them at all. This fire's still going. First law. I mean, who's going to put it out? You? I don't think so. Yeah, true. Let's go, Theodore. <laughs> Theodore. It's his name. It said the doc is it, not Theodore. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were kidding earlier. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So... He activates it and says we can only travel two teleport pads. And we need a map to focus on our destination, which is why we've been drawing a map this whole time. And then he kicks us out. Now Theodore is there. Uh, it is the doctor. It is the doctor. I told you. All right, but now we can use the yellow crystal, and it can zip us all around the globe. This is our quote-unquote fast travel system. So we don't have to pay money anymore. Correct. <laughs> And we don't have to use... It does kind of look like Theodore. It does. I <laughs>
So we go to Peru. This is the other eye from yeah. the big statue or the big carving. Ooh. And this is what's in here. It's the, another part of the device. And then we need to go to Mars. Thank goodness they turned on the oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> we go to this place and we are trapped. Wow. In here. Okay, yeah. Get your crayon. You got it. So that's a well worn crayon. Yeah, we're down to a nub at this point. We've been we've peeled all the paper off. For people who have worked with crayons, that'll be a very familiar feeling. For people who haven't, get out more. <laughs> go go outside today and spend some time with crayons. <laughs> da -da -da. And that opens all three doors, but we only need one of them because this takes us to the Mars maze. It's just three different doors into the maze. But this one is the most convenient for us to find our way to the co-eds. <laughs> nice. I don't know, are you more of uh, so what's, what are their names? Uh, Melissa in the blue, Leslie in the pink. You more a Leslie or more a Melissa? Well, listen, Melissa is completely a useless, terrible person. Uh, which we will get to later. I'm more of a Melissa. <laughs> uh, so since Leslie is not a coward and is not selfish, I would have to pick her just by principle, but I literally know nothing about either of them. Anyways, for, for some reason, Melissa's hair is white, uh, except when it's blue. What? I don't know. I thought it would change again, but it doesn't. <laughs> it's just... I think she's supposed to have blue hair, but it just shows up white sometimes. I don't know. Anyways. Back out onto the surface of <laughs> Mars. Sprinting. Get out of here, Zach showed up! Zach's like, you go ahead, I'm gonna stay here with Melissa. I'm gonna stay here with the oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> fill up again and head over to the tram we're actually done in the face area and we're going to head over to the pyramid sweet yep but again we need tokens for trams so as long as everyone has a token everything is cool does Zach have a helmet? I don't know does Zach have a helmet? what do you think? oh he's got a fishbowl he's got a fishbowl do you think just and oxygen <laughs> that's still from an old lady yeah <laughs> And there's actually one more part of it that you probably won't guess because we haven't taken a close look at what was in the uh, the toolkit. What what's a final thing you would need with an oxygen tank, a fish bowl, and a wetsuit? Hose? Hmm? A hose? Nope. I don't know. Duct tape. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta I gotta put it together. Yeah. Um, back when we met Annie, she actually tells us that we need to get a spacesuit and we're like, where are we gonna get a spacesuit? You also notice they made this wetsuit sprite without any gloves. Rather than correct the sprite, what they did was they put a line of dialogue and said that this, when you buy the wetsuit, you're like, this isn't the last one that has transparent gloves. <laughs> <laughs> so. They quote unquote thought of everything. I say quote unquote an awful lot when I do this. I feel like I should probably punch myself for doing that. Anyways. It's a taped fishbowl. Taped fishbowl. A quote unquote Dave Fishbowl. See? I hate it. <laughs> yeah. It's like all the new modern slang. You hear it once, you're like, that's dumb. And you I, start saying it ironically. I don't say it out in the wild. I say it <laughs> when I'm recording an awful lot. I don't know why. It's lit, fam. Yeah, it's it's uh it's far out. <laughs> <laughs> Zach doesn't have a token, but he does have a cash say. card, so he's fine. He's probably got the most money out of everybody. Go, man, use your token. Yep. And just like on Earth with the bus... Gotta wake him up. Well, no. Use no. your kazoo. <laughs> we don't gotta wake him up, but we, it's like... All right, switch to the next person. They gotta get in, and it's like, we're leaving in 15 seconds. Eventually it's like, they give you a warning, tram leaving in 10. So there's always, there's always time to do Five it. Five seconds. 
Now you might be wondering why it matters. Thanks for adding that in. That was a uh, good. <laughs> is because the the thing on this side is destroyed. <laughs> you actually can't get any tokens on this side. So even if you try to use your cash card, which I show off here, this last one blown away. We can't. So if you're not sure what to do, you would, and at you know, this point you're like, well, I got to get back to the face. You're actually stuck. That's an unwinnable situation. <laughs> Use the broom alley. Yes. <laughs> Doesn't seem to work. Well, I, I clicked on the wrong thing. I clicked on the same file. <laughs> After sweeping for some time. <laughs> Bye, alien. Yep. So he's not dead, either. You thought, maybe the alien was dead. He isn't. Now, why might you... You might be asking why does a broom... Or why does an alien evolve... Uh, in the shape of a broom, and I don't know. There's no reason. I wish the broom was a playable character. He's probably in the DLC. No. <laughs> uh, as you know, it's for comedy's sake that they look like this. So this door is where we were supposed to use the gigantic key that crumbled away. No, we need a lock we, ne we need a lockpick. We need a bobby pin. <laughs> a giant bobby we need pin. a giant bobby pin. Ooh, that's <laughs> gay. <laughs> Comedy. It's and just like Egypt. Oh, those eyes indicate that this is an important room to go into. Yeah, right? this is actually a replica of the pyramid on Earth, which we haven't been to. We were only in the Sphinx. Was there any point of going into that pyramid? Uh, we will. So we need Leslie to push on the foot here. <laughs> <laughs> Which again you wouldn't know. Yeah. But that opens the door over here. <laughs> oh. Seems. And then my favorite room, because it's the noisiest. But that's where the white crystal is. That's the that's the final part of the device that we need. We are We've almost won the game, basically. Let's do it. No, let's just stop here. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like <laughs> this has been Zach and Zeke's Part 1. <clears throat> Zach and Zeke's uh, Foley <laughs> Artistry. <laughs> He's not making those sounds with his mouth. All right, so we have, to, we have to release the foot and close the door, but that means that Leslie can't get up there. But we do need two people up there. So you actually need three people to solve this puzzle. Another key up here. It's a button. The button will open the the white crystal, but it only opens it for like three seconds, so you need two people to do this. Oh, he's got a little heart on his, his thing. Oh, it's just the, the green design on his uh, what's It's a heart. It's a heart. And he is going to use the yellow crystal and go back to Cairo, which is... <laughs> just sleeping them on Mars. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and this is in the uh, Egyptian pyramid. So we're going to take off our fish bowl. Right. Look at that hair. Yep. Completely unfazed by fishbowl head. Yeah, he doesn't. The fishbowl is pretty big. Oh. And back to the original sprite. Do you remember when he wore a tie? Yeah. And now we're gonna we're gonna put everything here. We got all the final all the objects. We need the one object on the bottom. All the dealies. And the crystals. And that is so then there's two switches, we need two people, but remember we left Annie in Cairo as well. So we're gonna bring her here. And then that'll be it. That's actually game over. Or not game over, that's that's we won the game. Yeah. All we gotta do is uh this you is imagine you just didn't have enough money. 
Yeah, we just yeah, you get stuck somewhere. You can't fly any. You can't go get her. It's possible. It is a it is a game ending situation in that case. <clears throat> but yeah, she's got to walk back out because she doesn't have a crystal. Uh, but that's basically it. We're gonna bring her to where Zach is, and we're gonna flip those switches, and that's gonna be the game of uh, the end of the game. What do you think? I mean, I'm excited to see what happens when the, we flip the switch. Yeah. I thought the aliens were going to be a bigger part of this. Yeah. <laughs> if you know what you're doing, they're not actually a huge threat. Uh, they can really, you know, stymie your efforts while you're trying to to do something in the game. Like, I remember trying to play through this with the guide, and I was like, Oh, I used the blue crystal on the bird. I got this. And then I was trying to fly around, and I'm like, Well, I don't know where to go, really. And then the alien showed up, and I was like, Well, now what? <laughs> I got stuck in the mind bender, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, the the Egyptian pyramid is a replica of the Mars pyramid. It has a sarcophagus and a foot you can push, I think. Um, but we've opened the door from above, so all we have to do is get Annie over to the Egyptian pyramid and she can walk right in. Nice. Um, yeah, so all the way over here. <laughs> she runs so fast. Yep. Uh, so yeah, this looks familiar. It looks an awful lot like the Mars Pyramid. This room is actually dark, but uh, we know where we're going. There's an open door on the other side of it, so we're just going to walk past the sarcophagus, which you can kind of see in the foreground, and up the stairs. Ta-da! Nice. Yeah, that's it. We just got to move these people to the switches and pull them, and we're done. Woo! Uh, this will be like the... Second game I've ever seen, like, finished. <laughs> like I said, I don't play a lot of games. Well, get ready. Pull one switch, pull the other switch, and that's it. What? What is going on? You get this sweet cutscene. The earth turns green for whatever reason, and we have won the game. What did I say? Oh, something's very, very wrong! Indiana Jones poster still in the back. Yep. <laughs> the machine. I love that animation. There you go! Oh, I forgot the music. Yep. <laughs> this. I don't really like the ending here. They smile at each other. Because <laughs> remember, they don't animate the. He walks closer and she's like, oh. And then she walks closer and he's like, oh. And they just smile at each other. <laughs> I don't know, I feel more stupid after watching this thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then they walk forward and smile at us. And they smile at each other. <laughs> and your epilogue is your epilogue is entirely in text while they stare at each other. So the, the bad aliens leave, which is great. That's what we wanted. Um Good news for the people of Earth. I'm waiting for. There's a very particular. There's a specific part of this epilogue that is is really it makes me angry. <laughs> you eat the squirrels. I mean, this makes sense. You trust the phone company. No, it makes sense. And given what we've seen in the game, that makes sense too. I don't want anybody to see my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Just dream about normal stuff. Sure. The uh, so two of our leads get movie careers. Zach wins the Nobel Peace Prize. So, just listening to a podcast and like, did you know there's a huge amount of money for winning like a yeah million? He also won the Pulitzer, and this is Annie's big reward. She's with some guy who has at least a million dollars. Yeah, but I mean, she is like, she should be a world-renowned archaeologist at this point. Yes. And she's is extremely sexist between that and male doctors. Yeah. Called not Theodore. <laughs> <laughs> male Theodores. Yeah, no, it's, I, I don't like the... This is Sia. They smile at each other, and Annie's big reward is that she falls in love with a gigantic doofus. He's pretty smartly dressed. He has a guitar. That she met him today. He has, a he has a guitar 
that he bought today that he didn't get to use. Why'd you buy the guitar anyways? Uh, alternate solutions to puzzles. Oh, okay. So instead of using the kazoo, kazoo you rocked it on the guitar? Well, no. <laughs> I'm just saying, could you have used the guitar? Because did we miss out on an epic guitar solo to wake up? Uh... Definitely not. You, you, you never play the guitar. Oh. The only musical instrument we play is the kazoo. Good job, Jim Letterman and Brian House. Yeah, good sound effects. Ooh. Yeah. Outstanding English playtesting. So I guess this wasn't originally created in English? Oh, sure it was. Okay. It was a LucasArts game. So yeah, everything they did was in English. <laughs> and this is right. this is it. This will loop over and over. Um, but speaking of alternate solutions, Woo-hoo. so the first thing I wanted to say about alternate solutions, and I left myself a little bit of time here to do so, is that I I, to- I mentioned that there's not a lot of character animations. So, for example, we used the golf club I think to dig the loose dirt out of the squirrel cave. Uh, you can use the guitar. You can use the stale bread if you still have it. You can use the tree branch. But it never looks any different. It just fades out or it doesn't do any character animations. So there's a lot of those alternate solutions, uh, which I didn't include. These alternate solutions are the ones that actually look different. Uh, so instead of putting sushi in the lamp, we can dump him down the drain and he can find his way to the ocean. That's enough. To... <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Yep. There's all their ways to deal with the phone bill. Instead of giving it to him, we can just use the terminal ourselves and zero it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's basically my job right now <laughs> <laughs> uh, another thing we do is because we have a huge amount of cash at the beginning of the game is we can just pay the phone bill <laughs> we can give him a thousand dollars and he jokes are you calling Mars <laughs> um, another solution because you might be saying well why do we even care about the phone bill is to never pay the phone bill or never deal with it at all and it doesn't affect anything? no we can't use the phone. There's the thing we can use the phone for other things for. But we can also draw, instead of on the wallpaper, we draw on the map. So now we have a second map, or a different map. We can make our map on the phone bill. But if you do that, and then for whatever reason you go to pay your phone bill, you actually get charged more. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> Sir, you have defaced our... That is, he says, he's like, here, oh, no. He's, he says defacing phone company property or something like that. Scribbling on your phone bill. Yep. Extra $10 charge. Um, but we do... We can, Sounds like real phone. Yeah. Phone we, companies. We can use our phone for other stuff later. Uh, so... There's another way to bend the butter knife instead of in the, the floorboards. Uh, if you try to dig through here with the butter knife, you still get the same animation and the same message and no character animation. But now the butter knife is bent. He doesn't even acknowledge it. He just, it's now bent in your inventory instead of him saying, oh no, I bent the butter knife. Oof. Yeah. So did you restart the game each time to get these different Uh, No, I, like, reloaded saves. Oh, okay. This is what we use the guitar for. We can give it to him instead of giving him the... uh, Fan club? The fan club card. So, get ready for a wicked guitar solo. (laughs) Yeah, we don't even get to see anything. So, yeah, you can use the guitar here, too. Um, I think that's all the alternate solutions for stuff. But there's also what happens when you're getting captured. <laughs> so, this is the one you'll probably see. Uh, see if, ya. If for whatever reason you don't have the nose glasses and the hat, uh, and you have no other way of getting out of here, you're just stuck in here. And he comments on it. You might have noticed as we were going through the game, he often just will spout what sounds like a tabloid title or a tabloid headline. But here he starts, he's losing his brain. See, all of our commands are disappearing, and he he's not speaking good English. <laughs> <laughs> and then this happens. <laughs> and so 
until everything's gone. And when it's all gone, this man says, oh no, that's fine. Not not too different from somebody thinking that Dr. Zen is Theodore. <laughs> he's, he's like, get out of here, you crazy kid. And then we just kind of have to wait for things to... <laughs> <laughs> we start to feel better, and then our commands come back over time. Yeah. And then you're back where you were. Um, the only thing that might happen is, if you let that happen, uh, he will take like artifacts away from you, right? So there's got to be a way to get that back, which we will talk about later. But this is what happens if you wait around too long after using the blue crystal. It's basically the same thing as what happened when he caught us in the ocean. He just get it. throws in there. But what if you're still asleep when he shows up? <laughs> Drags the body. It's Wake up! He, he wakes us up and we're like, <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> and then it's pretty much the same from there. Now, you might be thinking, what if you're clever and you wear the disguise? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was not thinking that, but I, I'm happy you were. <laughs> <laughs> well, you think maybe I escaped because now he's going to think we're one of him. But he still takes the artifacts away from us. So we still have a problem. So yeah, any artifacts you have uh, will be gone. And if you happen to be asleep with the disguise on, you'll just have to <laughs> trust me that I've got the disguise on here. He uh, he says, "Wake up and take that off." The, take that. Off. So it doesn't. The disguise won't fool him if you're asleep. It's like the nose gets all. I don't know. He just. I guess because aliens don't sleep or something. Not wearing the glasses either. Well, he took them off. So, how to deal with getting captured? Uh, uh, so, there's a phone number over here, on the phone. So, if you have paid your phone bill, you can call them. <laughs> I sped this up a little bit. Edna is a reference to Maniac Mansion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of references to that. Yeah, they're they're big on that. And so he'll just be distracted and you can just walk back in here and take your stuff. Also, Annie can use the phone. If you're trapped, she can use the phone to distract him and walk in back. And save you. Because uh, you can get Annie to San Francisco if you've met her. She can come save you from this. Annie can also use the rope and come down here and save you. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Also, there you can die. <laughs> there are ways to die in this game. Um, yeah, if you fall out of the plane without using a parachute, uh, <laughs> just text Zach Felder's death. Um, I've got. I've got to see, I should be able to last at least an hour. <laughs> And then you just wait over it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, LucasArts abandoned game deaths in most of their games, I think, shortly after this, because like there was another big production company, Sierra, and they loved putting in game deaths, which were really frustrating in their adventure games. But uh, LucasArts didn't like the whole like uh, they didn't like unwinnable situations, and they didn't like uh, deaths. So eventually, they started making games where you, neither of those things could happen. They were just very well programmed, so that the games would never... You'd never get stuck. Uh, you might not know how to solve a situation, or a problem, or a puzzle, but you would never actually legitimately get stuck. So this is what happens if you try to take the flagpole and you haven't set the fire. He throws you in jail. And if you've met Annie, it will. You can, like, switch to Annie and she can come and free you somehow. Which I think we get to later. But uh, if you haven't met her yet, he eventually lets you out. <laughs> okay. Like, he's like, okay, you stole our flagpole, but you're gonna go in jail for a while. So he puts us in jail for a while. You might be wondering why is this in the deaths reel? Yes, I was wondering that. 
we're gonna steal it again. Because <laughs> we don't learn. He puts us in jail for a longer stay, which is an indefinite stay, and because we haven't met any of the other characters, this is a game over. And it, it will actually legitimately cut to the game over. <laughs> Uh, other ways to die. You probably predicted this one. <laughs> if you go to Mars and they haven't uh, changed the atmosphere to be habitable. Hab habitable? Yeah, they haven't terraformed it. <laughs> they haven't terraformed Mars. Hey, callbacks! So yeah, he'll say my skin's boiling for a while. <laughs> and I think they give you enough time to like... Well, maybe they don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay, well, let's put on the uh, put on the wetsuit and do this. So, instead of your skin boiling away, <laughs> now you can't breathe. <laughs> <sighs> Which is false. You need air oxygen to be able to talk. Probably yeah. thinking it very loud while gasping for air. Well, he's yelling to the to the player, I suppose. But you can't you can't talk. Well, I mean, there's no real internal monologue. You might notice that the text looks a little weird in some of these, like the. Air is leaking from my fish. Oh, that. Yeah. So if you don't tape the fish bowl, <laughs> you'll die, you'll die as well. Um, while I was recording, something happened at one point. The text. Um, the, like the narrator text turned to a really dark blue so I had to write over top of it in white so you could see it but uh, don't worry about that also what if you're it? if you're on earth and you duct tape your fishbowl on <laughs> without using the oxygen tank you can suffocate on earth too <laughs> 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 There's a lot more deaths than I thought there would there, be. <laughs> yeah, we haven't even... Like, this has all been Zach. Everybody can die. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, Leslie, eventually you'll, you'll get a notice that says I've got seven minutes left of oxygen. This is for Leslie or Melissa. And then eventually you get a uh, two minutes of oxygen left. <laughs> As if your internal lungs are like, oh, yeah. I got and then this. eventually... They just start saying, I can't breathe, just like Zack. <laughs> so, I don't think at this point, from where I am, I would have had enough time to run back out to the van to get more air. Because that's the only place you can get oxygen on Mars, is from the van. But you get a good look at uh, Atlantis there. Yeah. That's who you were talking about earlier. Yeah, it totally was. Uh, also, you can just take your helmet off. <laughs> <laughs> and the same thing will happen. All the ways you die are just like you have to kind of intentionally. You have to like, yeah, yeah you have to they, want it. Even if you like fall. Oh, in the solve a puzzle. This map, you got to move the little balls according to the way the dancing people did. But why would you take your helmet off? What are you doing? Also, uh, inside <laughs> inside the pyramid, if you go to a different like, if you get lost and go to a different room. Uh, there is an angry Sphinx Guardian. It, and you can see the eyes on top of the door are actually angry eyes instead of the normal oh, okay. eyes. Um, and you have to walk in three times for it to actually kill you. So this isn't, I would call this not unfair either. You get plenty of warning. Because <laughs> she's like, oh no, I'm getting out of here. But if you intentionally walk in a third time. <laughs> And if the all four people die, way. you get the game over screen. You have to shred them. <laughs> yeah. So, Annie, for whatever reason, that was the fourth person. But I had all of them die at this point, and it just went to that screen. Also, you can get stuck in unwinnable situations. For example, you shred your breadcrumbs and then turn on the faucet. There's no other place to get breadcrumbs. And you are stuck. You have to restart from a load. Uh, also, if you, for whatever reason, uh, 
burn uh, both nests. There's a squirrel nest and a abandoned bird nest here in the cave if you burn them both off without using the wood. Uh, then you can't actually light a fire and you he will complain that he can't see the dots to make a thing. You can also launch from Mars. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, the, uh, the two co-eds can just leave. And if they do, uh, they can't help you with the rest of the puzzles. So if you haven't solved any of the other puzzles, that's an unwinnable situation. <laughs> They're really thorough in this game. Yeah. Yep. I'm just I'm just imagining, like, <laughs> somebody's got this huude flowchart yeah. on the whiteboard, and they're like, there's, there's something with the loop we have to close off here. <laughs> yeah, so you can keep switching back to these, like, to Leslie and Melissa if they're in the truck here, but, like, they're just flying back to Mars, and they, or to Earth, and they say it takes them two months to do it, so they literally can do nothing. And uh, Has this, anybody ever tried to wait out the two months? Oh, gosh, I hope not. Uh, oh, and you can all, this is me showing off. You can run out of money. Zach's got 66 bucks, and that's not enough for any plane tickets. This is me showing off. You can run out of tokens. Uh, now, this one I'm not too keen on because the distance between the pyramid and the face looks pretty walkable, I think. <laughs> like, I think you could walk that. Yeah. So Maybe you, it's like the oxygen thing. I don't know. Maybe, like, in the external thing you can't, uh... I actually don't know what they say. I didn't try to walk off screen here. I think they just don't. But you can't buy any tokens, and you can't get back on the tram. So. There's also an answering machine. <laughs> uh, once you fix your phone, uh, you'll get some answering machine. And turn on your answering machine, you get some messages. One from the phone company, a whole bunch from your mother. Nice. And we're just going to flip through them real quick here. <laughs> Why don't you ever call me? She always says that at the beginning of her messages. And she it's kind of a hint system because she says, uh, why don't you go talk to that girl if you haven't talked to her yet? Or just Trying to set you up. Yeah, she likes setting I bet her and his mom would be too pleased that at the end of the story they're staring at each other smiling. With a suit on? <laughs> she, I think she'd be fine. She also wants... She's like, why... Did you see that thing on the news about the girls on the Mars there? <laughs> she's like, why don't you build a spaceship? <laughs> it's like, jeez, Mom. I'm a tabloid reporter. <laughs> Jeff just says it at the beginning so of every phone call. aggressive. Yeah, this one is... Oh, she tells us about the guru. The guru. Tells us, oh, you should go meet him. Jane. Yep. Don't forget to call. But. But. <laughs> zip it up and zip it out. Zip it out. But. Aliens are running the phone company. Well, your friend Jane is right. Jane's got the answers to everything. Maybe we should have gone to see her. She seems she seems to know an awful lot of this chain. I wonder who she is. It could be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yell at me, mom. <laughs> uh oh yeah, what <laughs> what did you call me? I forget what this one is. Oh yeah, there's another girl. Ooh, you meet Sally. <laughs> Do we ever meet Sally? No. Sally. We we never meet mom or Jane or Sally. Whoa! Sandy, Sandy is a reference to Maniac Mansion. <laughs> she's a tramp. Uh, yeah. she's, <laughs> she's fine. <laughs> you get a phone call from your boss. This is the this is one of the last ones you get, so I don't know why it's so late. It's like, have you literally done nothing but like check your answering machine? This is the message that turned my in-game text blue. You can kind of see it behind the white text. It's very, very dark. Yeah. And it was unreadable, so I had to re write over it. But again, Ed, Sandy, and the Edsel are also references to Maniac Mansion. Also, we passed an awful lot of 
every airport has a, a newspaper thing, a newsstand, and you can read different uh, different headlines as the plot carries on. <laughs> so I decided to throw them in here. I would have also thrown in all of the pilot jokes from the Bermuda Triangle, but I realized you had to play through the entire game to find them each time, and I was like, fuck that. Yeah, no. <laughs> so you're not going to see those, I'm afraid. We can just come up with our own jokes. Yeah, there once was a man from San Francisco. <laughs> who liked to bathe in Crisco. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dirty limerick if I ever heard one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to stop there. Yep. I actually stopped checking after... I think after Stonehenge I stopped checking because you're mostly on Mars after that. Where there aren't newsstands. <laughs> but also, there's some other things. You can just fall in the hole. <laughs> and then they hear you. <laughs> and then they trap you. <laughs> if you're wearing the nose glasses... <laughs> <laughs> this is almost exactly the same. You say the same lines, she says the same lines, and then she says, I was in a room with a strange man, and you're like, hold on, it was it me? <laughs> and it carries on the scene from there. Uh, if you tell Annie to use the bed... <laughs> okay, I'm interested. <laughs> uh, you can use the crystal on the yak... Because the yak is also an animal, you just click on chew, I think it's 20 times. And eventually... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Zach will not pick up the poop. <laughs> you can also use the blue crystal on the squirrel, it is also an animal. And all we can do is do left head, right head, and chatter. So... Another thing, I don't know if you noticed, um, when we... Oh, did we talk to the... Oh, yeah. Annie can read the posters, because she is really great with languages. The purple meteor is also a reference to Maniac Mansion. <laughs> and then this is a notification that says that the wooden phone... The wooden flagpole was replaced with a metal one, which is why it conducts electricity. If Annie goes to visit the guru, the guru just kicks her out. Uh, the sign on the yak says insert cash card because he is a mode of transportation if you try to get any to steal the flagpole she will not <laughs> that would be stealing <laughs> yeah. uh, she is a scrupulous person she also will not play the lottery <laughs> rough um, okay and this is showing off Annie rescuing Zach. So Zach can get thrown in prison. Uh, the guard takes everything from us but our lighter so that we can smoke in prison. Sure. And then for some reason I don't switch to Annie for a while there. But uh, she can take the lighter. And she can go set the hay on fire and basically it's the same as the other thing. She says she doesn't want to do this, but she has to get Zach out of prison. And then you get your stuff out of there. If you go back to the guru, he just says, use the crystal. Ah. Also, when you show up and you have positive karma, he's like, I'll train you to use the crystal, but if you have negative karma... How would you get negative karma? Ah, you're getting ahead. <laughs> I smell bad karma. So, when he says you have to wait to burn it off, you actually have to wait. I think it's a minute, maybe two. If you leave and come back, you have to start over. But uh, then he says, you've burned off your misdeeds. Uh, in this case, I forgot to bring the blue crystal with me, but, you know, then you can carry on as normal. The way to get negative karma is to kill animals. So, sushi, we can put him in the lamp. And then, <laughs> turn on the lamp. <laughs> nice. Yep. Or, if you prefer to put him in the sink. <laughs> I hope 
you're happy there. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Whoops, my premeditation. <laughs> or you can actually kill the squirrel. <laughs> and again, you can do that with the guitar, with the branch, with a, with a golf club. So this isn't negative karma anymore. This is just more stuff we can do. But he won't take whiskey. F the guard won't take whiskey from Zach. Zach can't yeah. read the scroll. Annie tries to read the scroll when she's not at Stonehenge. She can because she can read it. It actually says Elvis is king backwards. Oh, nice. But uh, if she tries to read it before the flagpole is up here, she gets <laughs> struck by lightning. Uh, and if we fly in here as the bird and try to pick up the candelabra, which is what they call this thing early, it's too heavy. Uh, this is why I gave you a parachute, see? Another joke? Oof. 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 And then we go back, so Annie doesn't get to go to the spaceship. Ah, uh, Theodore. Yep. <laughs> so... He says, the yellow crystal will not work for you. Get Zack to bring it to me. <laughs> That's rough. So if you, in any of the jungles, if you click on the same door that you came in, you get lost. Yeah. Uh, and then, like, there's an a animal that makes noise. Nothing actually can kill you in there, though, and you don't actually get lost. You just have to keep walking through. You can use the cash card to see the uh, thing again. If you try to get on the tram before... The solar panels are cleared. You are not able to do that. Um, Melissa is the owner of the boon box, and she will not give it to Leslie. This is why Melissa is selfish. She says, no way. Leslie tries to pick it up, and she says that Melissa would kill her, meaning that Melissa is also violent. This is insane. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, Melissa will not investigate the bed. She doesn't know what's under the covers and doesn't want to find out. Um... Which is why Leslie has to do that. But even if Leslie has already done that, and we find out that it's an alien, everyone sort of freaks out a little bit, uh, Melissa won't pick it up. She's just like, no. <laughs> so she's a coward as well. Just the worst type of person. Yep. And if you put her in here, she is too afraid to stay in this room as well. <laughs> so she's selfish and a coward. Also, there's a tape that we tape over. If you play it before you tape over it, it's got music on it. Uh, and Razor is one of the characters from Maniac Mansion. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to see a pattern here. Yeah. <sighs> I dig this song. Yeah, it ain't bad. And that is it. <laughs> Woo! That's the whole thing. Thanks for watching, guys. We're just going to let into Glop Oda Krell play it and play us off for the remainder of the video. And stay tuned for tomorrow for a very special additional video. Yay! Merry holidays, people. <laughs> right? That's what we're doing? <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing. Alright.